Hey, hello, scrappers. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, break down a couple of these uh, car radiators. It's got a little bit of water in it. Yeah, for this one here, I probably don't need such a big crescent wrench. Tilt this down a little better. Yeah, I'm not zoomed in. Thought I might have been zoomed in, but I'm not. Well, this thing doesn't want to break loose too easily. There it goes. I didn't check to see if these fittings are brass or not. Okay, let's break this one loose. There we go. Yeah, I probably should have found a wrench that fit those. Try to get these off because uh, inside there's a little cooling chamber that works. Yeah, those are sticking. It's probably easier to get the leverage to break these loose before we take the end caps off. Yeah, wind's really getting it outside. Glad I'm not uh, out there filming without an external mic. That'd be. Wouldn't hear a thing I said over the wind noise. Okay, nothing on the bottom. So, uh, now I need to try to set up a little better. Uh, monitor for this okay anyway what I wanted to what we got here is the aluminum is crimped over it's crimped down over the plastic so we got to try to get in here I like using this little, uh, it's a Stanley. It's got kind of a fork, looks like a little nail puller, which I guess you could, but it's kind of bent, it's bent. So you can get in there and just pry up. Some of these spots, it's kind of hard to get into. The only problem with this tool is it's not very long. It's, uh, you can tell by my hands, it's like seven inches long. If you need more leverage, you could just get a regular screwdriver. So this one here is almost, almost 11 inches. So it would actually give a little better leverage. And you can use a regular one. That curved action is handy. You see it kind of popping in there. Probably another way you could use the short one, or probably even a screwdriver, is lay one screwdriver down if you can get it to hold. It's probably not going to work. I was thinking trying to use it for, for getting better leverage. 
Of course, you can always use this curved one to bend them up a little bit. And then get you another screwdriver or something to bend them up higher. Give it a little twist. And then we need to try to get the ends too. I'm going to try to bend these ends way out. Okay, now what I'm going to try to do, since I got three sides, not quite wide enough. There we go. Put it in the vise and then just bend it back. That just takes it right off. And here's this other piece inside. Yeah, it looks like this one's aluminum. But it's clean aluminum, so. And I guess that would uh, go and cast. I got a little rubber rubber gasket there and another one here. So that would probably go into cast aluminum. Get the trash can back there. Okay, now we'll do this end. Let me Go ahead and get the end first this time. There's like three tab three tabs are on the end. I guess I want to try to get all the way past it. I'll have to reposition the camera so you can see here. Three tabs here. Nice thing because this has a little taper there, so it can kind of pretty thin but get up under those things. It's not wanting to get under them this time. So I guess if you have trouble, see if I can't. There, I'm starting to get a little bite. There we go. Just thinking if I have to, I'll use the hammer to drive it up under there. Didn't have to do that on the other end. There was another thing. Uh, Got to make sure these ends aren't steel. They're aluminum too. So the sad part is that these are aluminum radiators. I should have brought the scale out to weigh one. They don't weigh much, and aluminum doesn't pay much. So, if you're if someone that does this for a living, you're probably better off just to sell these dirty, because it's probably not going to be worth your time to go through all this, unless you unless you slow down a lot in the winter time, and then. Uh, Then you can work on these in the winter. 
Of course, if you're doing this for a living, you want to <laughs> bring in that money every day. You can't afford a slow time. Okay, I think we can stick it in the vise now. Actually, we can go ahead and tear the other one down real quick. And uh, hopefully, and then we'll go ahead and weigh these after that and just see how much they weigh. Now here we got some great big like washers. Hopefully I can get a bite on them. not I don't really want to have to start hunting for a socket that size I'm not getting a bite on this though because I need to angle down where you can see it now with this crescent ranch About, about what size that is. Maybe I can find a rancher. Looks like about a one and three quarter. Let's see what we can find. One and three quarter. So I don't think I have anything that big here. No, nope, that doesn't fit. Check this tool bag over here for my hot water tank element. See what size it is. One and a half. I may have to just try to get on it with channel locks. I'll take it out and try it. If that doesn't work, we'll have to use channel locks. And I got a big pair right here. If all else fails, I can cut them in half and with the angle grinder and get them off that way. Okay, I think that's going to work. Now I just need to get me a half inch, half inch drive breaker bar or thought the ratchet. Don't hardly have to use half inch for scrapping. Not for what I do anyway. Yeah, we'll get the breaker bar. this socket for, for a special job and then I didn't need it and that one's easy. wow it fit those two on that end but look at that this end is bigger wow okay channel locks on these two let's go a little bigger Yeah, 
Yeah, that crescent wrench just couldn't get a bite on it. It's too flimsy or something, but the channel locks are working great. Okay, so we got those broke loose. Got tools to put away later. Somebody's got to get in here at an angle. I'm just going to get them all loose and take it to the vise and break off both ends. In the interest of time. Uh, if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends or in a group or whatever. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it. If you'd subscribe, please do. I try to do educational videos or informative videos like this showing how to break stuff down. I also show some of the loads I bring in loads I take to the scrap yard kind of what what's it weigh what's it pay it's been about a month or so since I've taken anything in but my day job gets in the way I had to quit bringing stuff in for a while because I was working overtime at work and and on the weekends, I was trying to get loads to the scrap yard. Okay, let's uh, see if we can pop these loose. Level it up a little. Looks white, so that's probably aluminum also. Got one on each end. Sometimes you luck out and these things will be brass, but not this time. Went down to the transfer station today, but they weren't bringing much of nothing in. Picked up a few things down there last night. Okay, let's go get the scale. We'll get a weight on those and call it, call this video done. Can you see anything? It's dark in here. Okay, Get the scale. This little thing goes up 50 pounds. I need to get me one that's uh, got the display separate where I can easily put big stuff on it. Try to move this stuff back a little. So, okay, this one here weighs about six pounds, you know, six shy of a half. Now this one here is a little heavier. Get some of this stuff out of the way. This one's wide. Standing up by itself there. 12 pounds, three ounces, so we got 18 pounds between the two of them, 18 and a half. 
at 20 cents a pound. About three dollars, no, three dollars maybe between the two. And as I say, you, you know. They don't pay a whole lot, not right now, not the way the aluminum is, unless it's gone up. I heard it, uh, they said it went up, but I didn't, haven't checked the price, so the last time I was checking, it was like 20 cents, so that's what I'm kind of still averaging on. Hopefully, you know, it'd be nice if we'd get back up to 40 cents. That wouldn't be too bad of a haul there, but uh, yeah, it's a good way to, you know, clean it up, make a little extra money, because you don't get, what, 10 cents a pound or something with the dirty. So, well, we didn't weigh, we didn't weigh this cast aluminum here in the middle either. Yeah, there's four pounds there. So what do we have? 20 pounds, so we can get four to four dollars at least. 22 pounds total. But that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, like I say, please subscribe, like it, share it with your friends, uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.